Hello, everybody. This is Richard Bird, and I wanted to talk to you today about how I use the app Evernote in my business. What you're looking at on your screen now is Evernote on my iPad. One of the great things about Evernote is that it is cross-platform, which means that there is a desktop app, a web app, a Droid app, and an iOS app. This means that there is incredible uh, syncing between all of these products and all of these platforms, which allows me to stay my most productive. And so as we pop in what you see uh, at the top of that, it's going to be your how you can create a note. The great thing about Evernote is that you can have text. You can take a picture. You can have photos. You can set reminders and you can create lists. Now, what I often do is I will take a note. Let's, in fact, let's just do that. If I were to click the text button right here, what, what I new note, it opens up a section. This section allows me to uh, create uh, a title for it. Then below, I can choose which notebook I have, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. Uh, and then underneath that, I can type my message. I use Evernote to jot down notes to myself. I also use it to outline my many projects. But probably the best thing for Evernote for me is the ability to see a website and use that information off that website. I can, by using a plugin, for or add-on extension, if you will, on Mozilla's Firefox and or on Chrome, I can easily click one button and have that full web page imported right into my Evernote for me to look at and pay attention to later. I use this often in what I call my swipe file. Now, as you can see, the next, I have shortcuts to my favorite list to my favorite notes. I have notes that I'm working on right now. As you can see, the one we just did, the new title one is up at the top. But here, here's some of the power really uh, of Evernote is the ability to create notebooks and what we call stacks. Now, if you were to think of the stack as your file drawer, then you could count the information inside each one of those drawers. Those folders are your individual notebooks. And then inside your individual notebooks are the actual notes or pieces of paper. Uh, having stacks allows you to create and organize yourself. And so I have my church stack, which has the stuff I deal with on my church level, my notebooks that I have or notes I have on each one of those, some of my sermon topics. As you can see, my project lists, my templates that I use. One of the things that I've done at least this year is been very purposeful about creating templates that I can use over and over again. And whether that is an article, whether that is how I do my podcast, or just even how I do my daily work. Uh, I have a lot of assistants that I'm working with now. Staff is getting bigger. I also have virtual assistants, people who do not work in office with me. And being able to send them a checklist of how I do business has been has been monu has been absolutely monumental in in staying together and keeping things moving in a fast way. Now, Although the notebooks are powerful and it's how I've been using them, the best part, I shouldn't say best part, but the more, the power of Evernote really now is in the tags. Now, if you're like me, you bounce back and forth, you have a note that may need to be in multiple folders or multiple notebooks. Now, Evernote doesn't allow you to do that but it does allow you to have multiple tags. And so I can have a note that I'm dealing with that can be a conference. 
it's also an idea. It also needs to be approved. Uh, and it deals with Facebook, social networking, and marketing for artists. Now, with my tags, I can go in and tag each one of those. See, I can give it multiple tags. And so if I need to pull that information up, I can pull it up by tag and get all of those. Uh, and so what I'm doing in the middle of doing right now is organizing my tags as actual notebooks, if you will. And so eventually what I will have will be one major notebook. Right now, my major notebook, uh, my default notebook that things are going to is the J. Richard Bird. I'm going to soon call that uh, my cabinet. And then I'm going to have an inbox because I'm doing getting things done. I'm doing Getting Things Done uh, by David Allen as one of my productivity ways of working. And using GTD, those who are those of you who are familiar, you use the inbox and everything goes into your inbox and you delegate, you do it, or you save it or throw it away, uh, all coming out of that inbox and it goes to where it has to go. And so that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'll have an inbox as a notebook. I'm going to have a cabinet as a notebook. And then I'm going to use my tags as a way of getting through and finding out where everything is inside of those notebooks. So that's that's a little bit of how I use how I use Evernote. I hope that helps you go go further in what you're going to do. And I hope that gives you a little bit of productivity hints on how I use it. Again, the best part for me is that it works on all of my devices and it keeps me synced in all of my devices. What I'm going to do down below are going to be a couple of links to some other videos out there that people have done that will uh, hopefully help you along in using Evernote to be better at what you're doing. All right. Thanks a lot, people. God bless.